The first appearance of the world with two sons came when Luke Skywalker faced a twin sunset on his world tattooing. Even though they started in Star Wars, these kind of planets have been firmly in the realm of nonfiction since the discovery of Kepler 16b in 2011. Now, in the same solar system, the biggest planet ever seen orbiting two stars has been discovered, revealing a rare insight into the way these tattooing planets form and evolve. A group of researchers from San Diego State University used the Kepler Space Telescope to identify the new planet, which has been named Kepler 1647b. The planet is 3,700 light years away and approximately 4.4 billion years old, around the same age as the Earth. Scientists believe it has one of the longest orbits recorded for a transiting planet. One of the best ways we can expand our understanding of the universe is by studying extreme cases, and this is extreme in two important respects, it has the longest period and is the largest transiting circumbinary planet, Dr. Jason Eastman, physicist at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, who was not involved in the study told such extreme examples give us critical windows into understanding the formation and evolution of these types of planets. Planets that orbit two stars are called circumbinary planets, or sometimes tattooing planets. Using NASA's Kepler telescope, astronomers look for slight dips in brightness that hint a planet might be transiting in front of a star, blocking some of the star's light. But finding circumbinary planets is much harder than finding planets around single stars, said SDSU astronomer, Professor William Welsh, co-author of the paper. The transits are not regularly spaced in time and they can vary in duration and even depth. Dr. Lawrence Doyle, a co-author on the paper and astronomer at the Search for Extraterrestrial Life Institute, noticed a transit back in 2011. But more data and several of years of analysis were needed to confirm the transit was indeed caused by a circumbinary planet. A network of amateur astronomers then provided additional observations that helped the researchers estimate the planet's mass. The research has now been accepted for publication in the Astrophysical Journal with Veselin Kostov, a NASA Goddard postdoctoral fellow, as lead author. The two stars Kepler 1647b orbits are similar to the Sun, with one slightly larger than our home star and the other slightly smaller. The planet has a mass and radius nearly identical to that of Jupiter making it the largest transiting circumbinary planet ever found. It's a bit curious that this biggest planet took so long to confirm, since it is easier to find big planets than small ones, said dusty SU astronomer Professor Jerome Warnish, another co-author on the study. It took so long to confirm because its orbital period is so long. The planet takes 1,107 days, just over three years, to orbit its host stars, the longest period of any confirmed transiting exoplanet found so far. It is also much further away from its stars than any other circumbinary planet, breaking with the tendency for circumbinary planets to have close-in orbits. Interestingly, its orbit puts the planet within the so-called habitable zone. Exoplanet hunters are especially interested in identifying planets that might be home to life, and the prime consideration for that is liquid water, the key ingredient for all life on Earth. For each star there is a habitable zone where any orbiting planet could support oceans. Like Jupiter, however, Kepler 1647b is a gas giant, making the planet unlikely to host life. Yet if the planet has large moons, they could potentially be suitable for life. Habitability aside, Kepler 1647b is important because it is the tip of the iceberg of a theoretically predicted population of large, long-period circumbinary planets, Professor Welsh said. But Dr. Eastman thinks it could be a long time before any similar planets are discovered. Because the primary Kepler mission is over and no other currently planned missions are very sensitive to such long-period transiting planets, it may hold that title for quite some time, he told.